Welcome back everyone. We're going to be working on gnomes in this video. Uh, I already have my red out, so I'm going to go ahead and do red here, red dress, and then some blue on some of the highlights. So it kind of goes along with our red and blue mushroom theme. Let me encourage you, if you uh, have not already, you can go back and watch the first video I did about how to paint these black and painting the mushrooms. So we're just gonna start off, boom, 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 boom. Time for blue. Highlighted here. Sleeves. Little part of the dress down here. And also um, on the back her bow. All right, guys, this is a little different. We're trying to do the flesh colored face. I take a big brush, just kind of go over the main parts, and then we take a smaller brush and go back over it some more. And then I actually have a smaller brush, which evidently was eaten by something, a rat or something, maybe a mouse. Um, the ends of the bristles are all gone. It's completely um, empty. But anyway, I think I have some more. But a smaller brush to kind of go around the edges right here. But this brush will kind of do some highlights. But first, we'll use the regular sorry for this weird view hope it works if not you're not going to watch much of this video before i cut it off once again just wiping most of it off and just doing the big part Around the edges, I'm going to use a smaller brush for this. This is the only thing you really need to use a smaller brush for is like if you're doing flesh tones and stuff. And when this dries, it'll look much better as it dries up. It kind of switches colors a little bit. You notice all your colors dry different than when you put them on just slightly. Ooh, yep, I'm gonna use a smaller brush for that too. And I'm also gonna do this guy at the same time because he uses the same colors for that, so kill. Just saves a lot of time, especially when you know ahead of time that you'll be doing that. I'm not really worried about his beard because that's going to be painted over anyway. Probably about all I'm gonna be able to get with a big brush. Now 
Now we'll use a smaller brush, this one here, fill in some details. All right, here we go. Hold this. Don't really wipe this off very much when I do it this way. See the difference in color right there as you're going over that next layer. Whoops. Ah, dang it. And that is probably gonna have to be painted over. Maybe not. Eh, it came off mostly. Don't like that though. All right, now to switch to this brush. Once again, you do not have to be this specific. You could paint this whole thing like a statue. You could paint it um, gray if you want to. You could do any kind of thing you wanted or be as specific as you want like I'm doing. So um, just completely up to you on that part. Definitely not going for perfection here. Kind of getting close to the edges with this small brush. All right, that's the hardest part. Everything else is now going to be. A little bit details. You always touch it up later on. All right, time to do brown, brown right there. And then this is gonna be leaves, so green I think for that. Right. Now, we highlight just the very tips of this with a lighter brown. Very light dusting here. Not much. Just barely. Just the tips. shirt green because it's made of leaves. As I go like this, I can actually see the leaves forming. It's like you were tracing them under a piece of paper.
All right, now time for the white beard, and then we'll see if we want to add some uh, color into it. I think that looks good just like it is. I don't think I need to add any other highlight color on the beard. All right, we're gonna get white here on these eyebrows. White on the eyes. Eyes are kind of tricky a little bit, um, but I think you could just mess around with it. You could just leave it like it is if you wanted to. The other trick to doing eyes is once that dries just a little bit, you use this end, dip it in the black, and just right on it, and that'll make your pupils. I think we're gonna do her hair brown. May put in some light brown also after we do this part. Just adding another layer of color just slightly on top of this, not, not gobbing on as much as you did the other one. really doesn't make a big difference. The texture. Got that mixture of colors there. Brown, then a lighter tan, brown. Oh yeah, that looks nice. And it's the same color as his hat. So now they are really sharing that same kind of color. All right, so eyes. This is a bigger one than this one. So usually this for the black, and if you want to, if you got enough room, you can use a little bit of white on this and put it on the black so that it looks um, more like an eye, but we're gonna see how much we got. Look at this, ooh. Hard to see down here. She could almost have eyeballs big enough. are kind of freaky. His look really good though like that. I don't even know if he needs anything else. I think her eyes need to be bigger. We're going to have to try it. See.
I still look weird though. All right, just a little bit of pink on her lips. Not too much. All right. Paint this little gray rock and I think we're done. All right, last part, the rock gray. This is back to being fast. Here we go. Standing on the rock of the bay, watching the gnomes go down. Sitting on the rock of the bay, painting on the Left my home in Georgia, headed, oops, headed to Modoc Bay. So I can paint some gnomes and play and have fun on the lake. Yeah, I'm just. There you go. Done. Voila. Look at that rock. All right. Here is our gnomes. We got the little guy, really cool hat on here. Wood hat, white beard, wood shoes, and green leafy shirt. Got our lady gnome here with sunflowers. Looking really nice. 